What's cracking, guys? My name is Microphone, and I have a new Gnome Huts. Wait. What's cracking, guys? My name's Gnome Huts, and you might notice something. I have a new microphone. That's because I decided, fuck it, and I purchased one, which means I'm now financially invested in my YouTube channel. So like and subscribe. So aside from that, you are watching the fourth video in the Redesigning My Little Pony series, Pinkie Pie. Again, I apologize for the wait between videos. I'm a college student and we're heading towards the end of the semester, so I'm kind of swamped. Also, I really wanted to wait until I got the new microphone because I hate the recording audio of the past videos. I've already redesigned Twilight Rarity and Applejack, and just like in those videos, I won't be just redesigning the character's design. I'll be changing the story as a whole. If you haven't already watched the Twilight Sparkle video, I highly recommend you do that so you won't be lost since I go into more depth about the story I have for this version of My Little Pony over there. Also, I just, I like the way that Twilight turned out, so you should watch it. Without further ado, let's begin! In my version of Pinkie Pie, she's still a baker at Sugar Cube Corner, and she's apprenticing under Mr. and Mrs. Cake. Similar to Rarity's story, Pinkie Pie is going to start as a novice at baking. She's not very good, and her development will be getting better at baking and then eventually learning how to make her own recipes. Pinky in the show is the party girl. She's wild and crazy, and honestly, in my opinion, I don't like that. She can be super overbearing at times, and she's just a whole lot. She also never really seems to have a genuine friendship with the other ponies. Like, obviously they're friends, but it just seems super forced. I don't feel like any of them would ever choose to actually hang out with Pinky. I don't know, it's weird, so I'm changing her from a crazy party girl to a more accurate representation of what it's like having ADD slash ADHD. Instead of non-stop moving and screaming, she's just fidgeting often, or not really focusing. She also struggles with volume control, so she's still loud, just more manageable. Pinky's sole trait isn't a baker. She's gonna be a sort of... Jack of all trades. Her main talent, though, is baking, of course, but she also likes helping Twilight organize her books or Applejack with her farm, things like that. Some episodes that could be pinky-centered could be an episode about her trying to help everybody with their tasks. She forget that she has to work with Miss Cake on an important wedding cake, and the other five help her, or maybe she's trying out new recipes. Later on in on the season, her growth could be shown by her catering at Twilight's princess ceremony, things like that. There could also be episodes about her dealing with her ADD slash ADHD and worrying about how she forgets things often, or how she feels sad because sometimes she can't control her volume or stims sometimes. With her story out of the way, let's move on to her design now. Something that might have jumped out to you is that Pinkie Pie is now Pegasus. This is because I think it's a shame that Pinky wasn't a Pegasus in the first place. It would fit her so much better. I actually imagine this design of Pinky to have smaller wings. They're not really for flying, they're more for like, hovering and stuff. Like, getting things off the top shelf or stuff like that. Nothing like what Rainbow Dash's wings would be built for. I made Pinkie Pie plus size for a few reasons. One, chubby Pinkie Pie gives me life. And two, for more body diversity. Something I really wanted to do in my version of My Little Pony was give representation to all kinds of folks. Tall folks, skinny folks, homeschooled folks, fat folks, and all kinds of folks from all kinds of places. I think it's important for kids' media to have that kind of diversity in a cast because, after all, these shows are a good way for kids to learn things. Especially in a show about friendship. If it's a show about friendship, and you don't have a diverse cast, how is that teaching friendship? I struggled a lot with the colors to make her. I could have done a lot of different colors, but I wanted to keep her bright and pastel. But I was struggling with getting the perfect pastel yellow color, so I ended up just googling pastel yellow. I made her hooves pastel colors because I think it's cute, and I like the idea that she painted them herself, like maybe at a sleepover or something. Her cutie mark was rather simple to do. It was just a cupcake with a bow on it with sprinkles and specks. I ended up giving her stripes of color in her hair, not only to add visual interest, but also so that she matched the rest of the ponies. Applejack, Rarity, and Twilight all have those streaks, and I always thought it was weird that Pinkie didn't. Like, she always came off as a character to me that would dye her hair, you know? So, 
I tried to give her colors in her hair, but then I decided that it was too many colors, so then I just narrowed it down, and I ended up struggling with that for a little while as well, but I ended up coming up with something that I liked. The rest of this is just adding small details like her eye color, coloring in her mouth, etc. You know, her inner wings, coloring the lines and adding the background. Her eyes are green because again, she was mostly warm tones, so I wanted to balance it out with a deeper kind of a cool tone. And uh, there's not really much else to comment on, so enjoy the rest of the video with music. I'll pop back in at the end. And here's the final design. Tell me guys what you think. What about the story, about the design, things like that. With this upload, there's only two left, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. I'm not sure which one I want to do more, so cast your votes in the comments down below, and whichever gets the most votes, I will do next. Uh, follow me on all my social medias, and remember to take care of yourselves. Bye! <laughs>